want to introduce you to a new topic, the Cisco Unified Fabric. The Cisco Unified Fabric is a merging of the SAN fabric and the network fabric into one. And to do that, we're leveraging new technology, 10 gig Ethernet and fiber channel over Ethernet. If you remember in our original traditional rack mount server environment, we had eight one gig NICs. What I'm going to try to do is build an environment here that uses less network cards, but actually gives us more performance and costs less. So we're going to be introducing a few new concepts. The first concept is a change of card. So instead of using network cards and fiber channel cards, where we have four cards there, we're just going to have two cards in this server. And these are going to be PCIe cards. And they're going to be called converged network adapters, also known as CNAs. So we have two 10 gig CNAs. Each 10 gig CNA has one port. That port comes out into the unified fabric that I'll draw in here in a minute. But let's just talk about the card itself for a moment. Remember when we talked about ESX servers needing to consume network ports and fiber channel ports? You would think by consuming this new type of port, we'd have to introduce some new drivers into ESX. In fact, we don't. These converged network adapters to the ESX host are represented as regular network adapters and as regular fiber channel adapters. The one difference being is that the network adapters can now talk at 10 gig, the fiber channel adapters still talk at their traditional speed. So these 10 gig ports cannot just plug into any 10 gig switch, they need to plug into a unified fabric switch, also known as a fabric interconnect. And this is going to be the Nexus 5000 series. So this is a new line of 24 port and 48 port switches that can support 10 gig line rate with no load sharing, so exclusive 10 gig line rate per port, and can also do fiber channel over ethernet. So it can split out the fiber channel and the network traffic. So with one switch that can do both, what I can do is I can provide 1 through 24 10 gig Ethernet ports that can also do fiber channel over Ethernet. And at the end of this switch, I'm going to have a module that can support traditional fiber channel. And that module will then connect to your traditional SAN fabric. So drastically reduce the number of cables from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cables for Ethernet and fiber channel to two cables total, so huge reduction in cabling. Also notice, once I put in these new fabric interconnects, I'm only going to have to add additional fabric interconnects when I exceed the number of ports here, which is going to be a lot less frequently. So here where I would have to add network switches every six servers and SAN switches maybe every 20, 20 to 24 servers, here I'm just going to have to add two switches once every 20 some odd servers. And the other big thing here is now I'm going to be able to take real advantage of this server to get a greater density of virtual machines into this box now that I have higher throughput for virtual machine networking. So faster backups, I can now run desktop virtualization, I can run heavy throughput apps like video, um, video streaming, I can do things like fault tolerance, at higher speeds, I can do vMotion at higher speeds. But the real point is now I can get more VMs into this one host because I can talk now to the network at 10 gig and I'm cutting the amount of complexity in the network by reducing the amount of switches. This fabric interconnect switch is then going to connect to your network at 10 gig or 1 gig, preferably 10 gig. And also if you want to extend out this fabric interconnect even further, to truly simplify your network and get rid of all things like loops or having to deal with spanning tree, I can actually chain onto this what's called a Nexus 2000 series switch, also known as a fabric extender. So another new concept, think of this as sort of a master-slave type solution to where this Nexus, this fabric extender, this 2000 is a slave of the 5000 and you only have to manage the master switch. 
It's a very simple way to extend out the number of ports in your 10 gig networking environment. You can even make these 1 gig on your fabric extender without having to deal with the complexity of managing additional switches, additional IP addresses. The rest of this is really the same. I've just introduced that concept of the fabric interconnect and the converged network adapter. Power is the same. Provisioning time, you know, I've had to do less cable runs here, so maybe I can drop provisioning time maybe down to three hours instead of four hours for each server. So there you have it. We've introduced the converged network adapter. We've introduced the fabric interconnect. We've introduced the fabric extender. All of these new terms you've learned will play into the Cisco UCS design discussion because basically what Cisco did is they came up with a new solution to solve some problems of simplifying the network, unifying the network, and thus calling it the unified fabric. And this solution is now being used in all sorts of servers. But specifically, there's going to be some advantages that I introduce in the Cisco UCS environment.